Hey everybody, it is July 8th, Monday, 2013. Just taught a mom class outside. It went quite well. It was quite hot out. Um, sorry about that. Um, it, it was a rough couple of... It was a rough day yesterday. Who's in Kuma? You know, Parma feels different, so it's kind of a long day. Uh, oh, so hot as hell yesterday, and today, I don't know, yoga was up early watching TV and loud. <laughs> so I woke me up out of I couldn't fall I couldn't fall asleep last night until one o'clock in the morning. She was craving pizza, so we ordered a Sicilian a Sicilian pizza at like eleven o'clock last night. But it didn't work out this morning. I didn't even really break a sweat. So kind of blah. But I did a workout. Did, taught my mom class. One of the moms and I, we always, I always walk her back. She had three kids with, all three kids with her today. She's Australian. She's really cool. She's actually going back in the next couple of weeks. Uh, Ray Donovan. I don't know how the season's going to turn out, but uh, it's my favorite show right now. We watched The Killing. Bar Rescue was on last night. We didn't get to watch that. I shaped to 60 Minutes with uh, kind of a repeat. But I'm a huge... Uh, James Bond fan. So, uh, there's supposed to come this morning, 8.30, to replace the dishwasher. So I'm sitting here waiting. I went to the Zupri's at 1 o'clock. So, you know, they just change the time whenever they want to. Key's sitting over there. She's kind of blah. I don't know if you can see her. Can you see her? There she is. There she is. Peanut! What's the matter? She's not feeling... She's kind of blah today. So it's cooler, but it's still hot as hell outside. So, um... Yeah, so I'm waiting for these people to come to replace our dishwasher at 1 o'clock. And that should be a lot of fun. So what else is going on? Not a, not a lot. It's a lot quieter without Kuma here. We, uh, and all remnants of Kuma are now longer in the house. We got rid of everything. So uh, just feels different. You know, when I would get off the bed, Kumo was always sleeping next to me, so I would always have to watch, and now there's an empty space there. So it's tough losing a pet. It's, uh, it's never an easy thing. And Kumo was a good dog. Kumo was a good, good girl. You know? I only knew her at the end. I didn't know when she was full and rambunctious, which would have been kind of cool. But my parents used to have a dog named Tiger that I they, they had when I was a little kid and it was always angry and old and it lived like 18, 19 years but all I remember that it bit my hand and the bed when I was a kid and uh, my parents had dogs that you know actually my parents have had three more that they're on the, their, their fourth dog but they're and Max is now 13 and he's getting up there so I look at Peanut sometimes, and she's only five and a half, and I'm just like, I saw two bulldogs today, and the guy was telling me about his bulldogs, and I'm lucky to have, I'm lucky to have her, you know. She's been through a lot. She's uh, lived on both coasts. She's been through a divorce, been through a marriage and a divorce. She's been, a, been through a move to California and back. She's been in a car accident. Yeah, I remember. She ran in traffic one time, been through a couple operations. And she just keeps on ticking my little girl. So I think it's too hot to take her out. I would take her out, but uh, I think we're just going to stay in. So I, uh, I'm just rambling. Uh, I hope everybody's having a good week, good day. Happy Monday to you all. I will talk to you soon, all right? Peace out.